Hi, I'm Paul Macbeth, and you're watching Spin TV. Growing up, it was definitely baseball. I mean, I'm literally 150 feet away from baseball diamonds, so I grew up on the, on the fields. I played a lot, yeah, I mean, almost every day. I think I was playing probably before I was walking, just standing there hitting a tee. I grew up uh, playing second base pretty much till 12 years old, and then we switched over to the big diamonds, which were uh, 60 foot pitching mounds, 90 foot bases, longer throw, and. I did a transition that most people don't do. I went from second base to shortstop to where most people do the opposite. They go shortstop to second because they don't have the arm. Yeah, I grew up on these diamonds and uh, I just really enjoy it. This is kind of like a peaceful place where I can go out and let out frustration if I need to, the batting cages, ground balls. It's kind of like your own little world. Disc golf came in when uh, I transferred from middle school to high school. Everyone from my middle school was going to this high school called Edison, which is the closest one to my house, but I went to Huntington Beach and I was kind of the oddball, so I didn't really have many friends there. So I wanted to pick up a sport that I didn't have to really talk to people and uh, disc golf was the one because I could play it by myself and go out there and enjoy time alone. I listen to hip hop, rap, I also listen to like rock. Pretty much the only thing I don't listen to is country and uh, techno and dubstep, stuff like that. It's years to see disc golf course is maybe a mile that way. Used to go disc golf in the morning to the beach, back to the disc golf course every day. I think that's what really let me elevate my game quickly. Always being out there, you know, always exercising and just all the time. Yeah, uh, we now stopped here at the beach. Um, we're gonna see how the weather is and the waves and check out the pier for a bit and see if there's anything going on. Surfing is the biggest sport here in Huntington Beach. Uh, it's, if you don't know how to surf, you're pretty much nobody. They pretty much breed surfers here. I learned how to surf, I just never had the time with baseball and then disc golf traveling, so I never really had the time to get out here and compete with these guys. Make a dream out of the light. Skateboarding is something I do. Um, I'm not really big into tricks, I can't really do that, but I like to ride around, you know, it's just, it's kind of like the Huntington Beach feel. Laid back, you know, the beach lifestyle is just, you know, you go out there, just waste time, you just get to sit out there, you get to either go in the water, sit on the beach, tan. It's really just a laid back feel. You could pull up a beach chair and sit there all day. But you know it's a bad day in the world. I know you're a sad, sad girl. I think, I think this is the closest you can live to Main Street right here. You can live up top. It's very good. But you know it's a bad day in the world. Uh, he's just walking the Avocado Cafe Huntington Beach. As you can see, we have the Wall of Fame. Come back here. All professional surfers, legends, living legends. Johnny Kissel, pro surfer. We've got all the old school HB boys, the crew here. Huntington Beach Wall of Fame, baby. Only at Avocado Cafe HB. Representing the one and only Dr. Macbeth. Uh, sports have been a huge part of my life growing up, but uh, now disc golf is the main sport for me. I started uh, playing in 2004 at Huntington Beach uh, Disc Golf Course, and it's just been every day since then, as much as I can. I just don't want to stop playing. I realized that I could play disc golf uh, fairly well in 2007 uh, when I was playing advanced tournaments. I started cashing with these uh, older players, and it really uh, gave me a drive to play more and get better and eventually turn pro. The world title is huge to me. Um, that's just a goal that I think e almost everyone has. 
and uh, I, f I just feel privileged to have accomplished that at such a young age and uh, I just want to go back there and defend that and just get that feeling back. It's just something I don't want to lose. The feeling of winning a world title is like almost like floating on a cloud. You see yourself there, you, you know, you're not in your body. It's like an outer body experience where you're watching yourself make that last putt, that last drive and it's just, it's an amazing feeling to actually just later on know that you won that event and it's, it's you have to, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> In 2007, early in the year, I met Ron Brawley and he introduced me to Dave Dunapace. And Dave's first words were, does he have potential, is he good? And Ron said, yeah, this kid's gonna be good. So from there on, Dave's just like, put him on the team. Uh, I think he can go somewhere. My first Innova disc were, I got like a three-piece player pack for Christmas one year from my dad, so that was pretty cool. So those were the first discs I started with, and uh, ever since then I've always thrown Innova and competed with Innova. Being a part of Team Innova is, you know, it's huge to me. I'm thankful for it. Uh, it's, it's always been a dream to be sponsored by a company, and to be sponsored by the biggest company out there, how great the discs are themselves, it's always uh, been consistent, and I just, I don't see myself doing anything else. This is my thing. I feel this desire in me. Sometimes I need to let it out. I need to face it, feel it. The more you give it, the more it gives back. It's a lifestyle. It drives you forward to new places and adventures. Whatever comes to you, be positive, be inspired, and be creative. This is my thing. This is just